Okay, now it's time to see who is the best singer-guitarist combo. In one corner, we have one of Rock's top showmen teaming with arguably the best solo guitarist, Diamond David Lee Roth and Eddie Van Halen. In the other corner, they haven't always been buddies, but they've created some of the most amazing rock songs ever recorded, Axl Rose and Slash. Great things may come in pairs, but only one of these duos will be numero uno in the throwdown. <laughs> Please, George. Uh, I'm gonna say Van Halen. Van Halen, okay. Don? I think it's obvious because Van Halen came out in 79 and they invented showmanship as a front man. And Eddie Van Halen is probably one of the best guitar players, is the best guitar player in the world. Okay. I'm gonna say and... Axel and Slash and I'll explain in a minute. Okay, uh, Jim. Van Halen. Okay, yeah, I mean, I, I got, I'm going, you know, you gotta go with, with Eddie and Dave because there will be no Slash and Axel without those guys. If you were just saying the first two Van Halen versus the two verse Guns N' Roses, and that's all each of them ever did, I might go Slash and Axel, but they have, Van Halen has such a body of I, work. I, I agree that the Van Halen's a better band, and their records are better and all that, but you're talking about singer-guitar players, and why I say that is because, to me, it, it was skewed towards Eddie Van Halen so much more in Van Halen to me. For, for me, Axel and Slash were much more equal contributors. You know what I'm no, saying? But, but, but Roth the thing, was not that great of a singer. He's a great showman, but I, I think Axel brought all these other intangibles. Yeah, but a great showman. Roth's yeah, a great singer. He's great on stage. Roth nice is dance. a great singer. No, and another thing Look, is Eddie, Eddie was able to have on stage. Eddie, he's a great singer. Eddie was, able, record, to have, Eddie record. was able to have chemistry with with other singers. He was able to have that with Sammy. Look, look what happened. I mean, Axel has not found the same chemistry with his other guitar players. But Slash has had, look at what we just saw the other night with Miles Kennedy that Slash has Why don't we ask the guitar guy, George Lynch? Yeah. Why are we, a third well, of it's arguing. He knows. I think the classic singer guitar player duo, I think Eddie and Dave, was, is a much more profound, yeah. profound yeah, absolutely. pair. Absolutely. And they're still playing together. Not today. taking anything away you know from what? Slash, obviously. Not taking Slash. anything away But it's away a different thing. But don't you think that Axel pulled a little more weight in that equation? When you think Richards and Jaggers and you think Tyler you, know, Perry. you think Led Zeppelin, Perry. you think Aerosmith, and I, I put Eddie and Dave in that category. That's the right. real answer, and, Tyler and Perry. And, and by, by the way, D and Dave has much more of a sense of humor, although Axel did have a guy who wore a bucket on his head in his band, so. Yeah, Mr. Chicken. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is it Axel and Slash? Yeah. Or is it Van Halen? Yeah. Yeah. That's my people.